You guys, welcome to the Lolly Art Group. Uh, today we're going to frame one of my paintings that just sold. It's got to go out to uh, Franklin, Tennessee. So I'm going to show you guys how to uh, mount and uh, mount one of your uh, paintings in a floater frame. So we're going to start by drilling some little pilot holes. We'll turn this over so we're going to drill into the back side. Me, I've got my table and so we just carpeted this table and what I don't want to do is I don't want to put all the dust on the table so it will be uh, so it'll be dirty. So I want to keep all that off the table and just put it on the ground, of course, if I can. So right now I'm drilling pilot holes so it won't crack the frame whenever we drill into it. And I usually put two on each side, uh, somewhere about where the about where the writing is on the frame. So this is a Larson Jewel, this product. They're uh, based out of Houston. They have other places in Canada. And this is one of those, Larson Jewel is a Berkshire Hathaway company. So they're ran very efficiently, very well. It's one of my favorite frames to use. I think probably 95% of everything that we frame here at the Lolly Art Group has Larson Jewel. We are one of their local distributors. And if you're in the Dallas area and need a good frame, our Larson Jewel frame, feel free to come in at any time and we can get you, we can get you set up. I know that we will have, um, next week we'll start offering uh, one week turnaround guaranteed. So if that's something that interests you and you're in Dallas, come see us at the Lolly Art Group. So we've got our eight pilot holes drilled. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our painting we're going to put it inside here. Just kind of drop it in there. I kind of square it up on the bottom where I can fill the stretcher bars. And then I take pieces of foam core. And on this, this foam core, what I do is actually put it in the gaps where the, since this is a floater frame, there's uh, a little gap where about a half inch of air between the canvas and the frame. And so it makes it look like it's floating in the middle of uh, the frame. So that's why we go with these. This is my favorite, favorite frame to use for my personal artwork. So here we got, this is perfect. So we just needed two on each side. I have different sizes of these uh, foam cores and some of our postcards, but uh, as I'm trying to build out my space uh, or get the spacing just right in, the, in between the frame, um, sometimes you got to add a little bit one way or the other. So this one seems to be pretty good. We may have a little bit of wiggle room here. There we go. I think we're pretty level. Looks like we're going to need a couple of small cards as well to get this one exact. So I'm going to put three right there, three right there. That's perfect. And You always want to make sure that you have it squared up on each side if possible. So here we've got, now we've got nice and snug and the canvas is perfectly centered in the frame. So now what I'll do is I'll take some of my screws, get them out of the drill, and I use inch and a quarter screws. Uh, the canvases that we're painting on here are inch and three eighths. And so then you have about three eighths of an inch on the frame as well. And we go ahead and just screw right into the bottom and then go right into the wood of the canvas or that's the stretcher bars are in. And make sure not to put too much torque on there or you can crack the frame. Uh, but that's why we pre-drill so we don't have so we don't have that problem. And then the nice thing about uh, doing it this way is you can control your, your drill gun a little bit better. Um, and since a lot of our canvases have a lot of texture on them, we don't want to flip the canvas over on the other side and mount it or screw it in that way because it would flatten the oil. You always want to be careful not to get a little wild with your screw gun and pop the 
you know, pop through the canvas. I know that I've done that a few times and I've had to do some last minute surgery repairing the canvas because I was a little wild and crazy with my drill. So we got four more screws left. And then once this one, once we have all these done, some people, you know, sometimes we actually hang these on the frame when they're on walls, just have a couple screws and that way it always stays level. But on this customer here, they requested a, some D-rings and some wiring. We got two more over here. Last one. There we go. So now we take out our our foam core pieces. Because now the canvas is nice and secured on the inside. You can see that it's perfectly leveled or perfectly square inside the frame. And so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip it over. We're gonna add some of our D-rings and the wire to the back side. I'll show you how to tie knots on these so they won't move and everything will stay pretty good. You always wanna measure out where you're gonna do it. So here's our top up here. So we're gonna screw towards the top. And for me, see, because we have a reveal here, we have about um, a little less than a quarter of an inch, but this is a fairly flat painting. So I can actually lay it on the frame since the carpet is here to protect it and the canvas won't actually touch the carpet. So as long as it's good and tight. So this is our top here. Check one more time. So what I do here, I'll actually make a measurement. This is a four foot canvas. So I'm gonna make the measurement at 12 inches down. And I go ahead and put a dot there. But I'll also put a dot here. So there's a few different ways to do this. If you want this to secure to the wall, where there's no angle or anything as it's hanging on a, on a wire hanger, some people actually mount these to the inside of the frame on this, and so it fits a little snugger to the wall, which that's what we're gonna do for this customer. Uh, I just know that he would enjoy it to be that way. I know he's got a pretty contemporary home, and so that's what we're gonna do, is we're gonna mount that to where it's on the inside of the wall. We're gonna use 18 inches on this one and we're gonna mount our D-rings right on the inside of this frame so it will stay flat on the wall whenever he installs it in his home. Okay, so we'll make our marks. Gonna get a couple of D-rings. So these are our D-rings here. I like to use the double hooks or the double I-rings and that way it stays in there pretty secure. So like I said, we're gonna go right on the inside of this so that way it will not hang off the wall too much. Yeah. And these are these are rated for 50 pounds a piece, which is a little overkill for this size canvas. This canvas frame and everything's probably closer to 10 pounds. Then we will take our our last one here, put it in, and then we'll cut our wire, and then we will wrap it, put it in the box and it will be off. It's actually going to get picked up here uh, within probably about an hour. So we're rushing a little bit to get this one done. One of the things we do here with our artwork is we offer free delivery and install if you're local, but we also do free shipping. So you'll never have to worry about that extra charge from us here at the Holly Art Group. Okay, so I've got our D-rings there. Let me get my wire. A spool of wire. I always run it through one side uh, closest to the spool and I pull that through that time my first knot over here. So whenever I tie the knot I actually take the loop, I pull around all the way to the back side, do one full twist and I come back through the D-ring, pull back up and over and then I just twist this like a like a bread tie all the way around and then whenever you get it to right here, go ahead and give it a quick little snug so it sets. And I come in and I actually cut, I pull the wire straight, actually give it a little bit of hook so it's easier to get to. And then right on the outside of the frame, I'll cut it and that'll be my length. And then I'll do the exact same thing over here. 
wrap it around back underneath and then twist it on like a red tie. And then this is how we mounted a canvas inside of a floater frame. And this is Larson Jewel's uh, white studio molding. It's uh, number 263-438 in case you're interested or you like this, this molding here. And as you can see, we now have a finished painting that we can put up. There you go. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna wrap it and get ready for shipping. Thanks for joining us today at the Lolly Art Group with a little framing tutorial. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you've got any questions, uh, comment down below. And make sure to follow and subscribe us. And we'll give you a lot more information on how to survive in the art world. Thank you. Have a good day.